It's a project KPRC2 has been keeping really close tabs on the construction at Bush Intercontinental Airport and the complications it is bringing for travelers and people picking up their loved ones from the airport. Now we've heard all of your concerns about traffic delays, lack of bathrooms and no access to elevators. And in the week since our first report, changes have been made. So let's go to KPRC2, Sabira Rayford, joining us live tonight from Terminal E with a look at those changes, Sabira. Daniela, after months of no bathrooms, these temporary restrooms are providing some relief, but travelers still say that traffic and access remains a persistent problem. Traveling with children. It's really hard. But Elizabeth Ohiku isn't talking about flying out of the airport. We didn't know what to do. We didn't know where to go to. She's picking up a loved one from Terminal E. They didn't even give us enough information on how to locate this whole change and everything. It was really hard getting it. Even with the stroller, no there was no elevator. And for months, there were no bathrooms. You had to go to the other terminal. This portable one was recently added outside. No bathrooms or elevators. Stemming from the airport's $1.3 billion construction project. Completion is expected in 2024. And this is still the headline of the headache. 50 minutes. Can you trust me? It's like a a uh, hundred years. MD says that's his commute to pick up a customer. He owns a limo service. A, B, not problem, but terminal E or D, there is no parking lot for the limousine service. He says his options are to walk his customers to terminal C they are mad. or have them wait an hour or more. A lot of bags is really problem because you see that there is no uh, elevator, nothing. We found out from an airport spokesperson June 6, elevators inside will reopen, meaning these buses for the disabled will be moved, freeing up a little more pickup space. We've continuously requested to speak with the director of the airport, Mario Diaz, about travelers' concerns. Those requests have been denied. In the meantime, MD says he doesn't know what to tell his customers. A lot of people also, they're trying to fly from hobby. Yeah. They change sometimes, so something. Almost a month ago, we took viewers concerns about the construction chaos to Houston City Council member Dave Robinson that he said that he would reach out and look for a solution. We reached out to his office several times about this and we have yet to get an update. We're reporting live at Terminal East. Sabir Rayford, KPRC 2 News. Sabir, thank you for that update. And